there is one drug in that kit of drugs that's very unusual, like psilocybin, LSD, those promote heavy, heavy serotonin release mm -hmm. and lateralized connections ramp up, et cetera. Matt talked about all that. But MDMA, ecstasy, is a very unusual situation where dopamine is very, very high because of the, the way the drug is designed. Dopamine release, it goes through the roof. So people feel great and they wanna move and they have a lot of energy. But serotonin levels are also high and that's a very unnatural state. And why MDMA may, may and I wanna highlight may, have particularly high potential for the treatment of certain forms of depression is an interesting question because never before in, as far as we know in human history, has there been a possibility of opening up dopaminergic and serotonergic states at the same time. Dopamine being the molecule of pursuit and reward and more and more, and serotonin being one of bliss and being content right where you're at. So it's almost like those two things wrap back on themselves and create this very unusual state. And th I think the bigger conversation is what to do with a state like that. Mm -hmm. Like, do you, is it about self-love? Is it about developing love for another person? Is it about forgetting hate? Like these are powerful molecules. And I think if the academic community and the clinical community is going to move forward with them in any serious way, I think there needs to be a conversation about what they're being used for.